Welcome. I'm so happy you're here. If you wish there were an easier way to get and stay healthy, to reverse declining health, then you're definitely in the right place. If you struggle with pain, stress, fear, or find yourself self stuck in the worry cycle, and all you want to do is feel good, healthy, and strong, then you absolutely need to know how to reverse the spiral of declining health. I mean, we all want to feel good, right? And wouldn't it be wonderful if we had access to feeling good no matter what? And the great news is, is that any human being can reclaim a calm mind, a healthy body, and well-being. I mean, after all, we were born that way. Any human being can reverse declining health. And that's what our time together is going to be about. The calm, healthy being that you were born as is still in every cell of your being. So again, I'm really happy you're here. Lots of people say they want good health. I mean, who doesn't? But not everyone educates themselves on the deeper layers of what it means to actually get and stay healthy. So my purpose in our being together today is to teach you how to do that. So let's get started. Before we move to the next slide, I just want to say <laughs> there's a lot of tech things going on. So I'm going to have to advance the slide and then advance the slide. I'm going to reach across, try not to you know block the screen, but you're going to be paying attention to the slides anyway. So, but in order for me to get access to what I have to say about the slides. So the next 60-ish minutes, I'm going to do my best to keep it in that time frame. I do talk fast, so that's helpful. They are for you if you want to discover how to get your energy back and feel strong, if you want to find out how to finally get unstuck so you can feel good again, how to wake up your metabolism for a healthy weight, how to clear and calm your mind for peace at last, and real appreciation for your body without worrying about things going wrong constantly, without having to take more medications, supplements, treatments, unnecessary doctor visits, or special diets. Most women I work with, and maybe this is you too, are frustrated because they're doing a lot of the right things but still not feeling good. It's frustrating because if you leave any of the ingredients that we'll talk about together out of your recipe, the stress and worry loop will continue and it won't get your health or your energy back. It's kind of like leaving eggs out of the quiche or cheese off a of pizza. <laughs> the outcome isn't just, it's just not the same. So I'm all about, I've discovered over my years, uh, the right ingredients, if any recipe I want, is to turn out delicious. Uh, plenty of energy and good health is the de deliciousness we're all after. So first, I'd love to define, based on the World Health Organization's definition, what health is. And so here's their definition. The state of complete physical, mental, social, and spiritual well-being, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. So it's two sides of the coin, right? Let's take a breath on that one. <laughs> we might do that a few times throughout our time together because um, actually breathing helps to move energy. You probably know that. So health is normal and natural. It may not be common right now, but it's not a long shot to get and stay healthy. Again, because it's coded in our cells. So stick to the end because I have an attendance gift for you that you're going to want for sure. You're going to love it. It's an audio recording of how to ground and connect and activate your energy. And I'm really excited for you to have this gift, you know, just for being here and for being you. And I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. And also, if you love what you're hearing uh, together today, then I will tell you how to continue learning more as well. So let me just uh, move that one next. Did I get that one? Right. Okay. <laughs> so let's just check in really quick before we get into the meat. Does this sound like you? It Does it seem like you've tried all the things and they get some results, but really not enough? Like you keep missing the mark of this you know, place that you know that you could feel? Do you do well with new things that you've learned for a little while, <clears throat> but then maybe the new habit falls away, mostly because the return doesn't match your hard efforts, right? I mean, how frustrating is that? And you feel like you can't take another supplement, try another diet approach, or keep searching Google. And you're frustrated possibly because your doctor or your doctors, either they don't listen, or if they do listen, they don't offer anything that works. And we'll talk about that too in our time together. And that you know medication is not the ideal answer either. You know deep down inside there's a different, more natural way, and you're ready for it. You also know there's no magic pill. And you'd like to at least be doing the right things, right? That, that recipe thing that we were talking about about. <clears throat> I'm Lori Morse, in case you aren't, uh, don't know me, 
And um, just so you know, you're not alone. I have had at least four major health challenges in my adult life and plenty of minor ones, two adrenal exhaustions, um, crashes, actually digestive problems, a kidney disease, a heart scare, a thyroid issue, <laughs> horrible sleep problems, and menopause really kicked my butt. So each time I, each time something came around, I really felt blindsided because I'm a health professional and I've been practicing Chinese medicine for over 30 years. And there was a point when I had to stop and ask myself, what is going on? How can I understand natural medicine the way I do, be doing all the right things and still not be healthy? I went to all the doctors and I got no help. I actually had a male doctor tell me when I went for some heart palpitations that it was probably the green tea that I was drinking. I mean, it's kind of like Oprah, right? Her sis, you might have heard this, her symptoms were discounted and she's Oprah. So imagine how it is for the rest of us. I had to figure it out, like how to get my health back on my own. And fortunately, I'm I'm a pretty big nerd when it comes to all things healthy <laughs> and when it takes, you know, what it takes to actually be healthy. So I worked my butt off and eventually got better but it still was missing the mark. Like I mentioned, it was better, but not great. And that's when I discovered what you will learn today. Now I enjoy deep sleep every night, all the energy I need all day, a clear, calm mind, a constant creative expression, my ideal weight. I take dance classes once a week and perform. I mean, I'm pretty active overall now, and I gratefully enjoy connection heart within, you know, a heart filled marriage. And with my circle of friends, I get to have all those good things because I have my health, right? I don't have to cut things out just because I don't feel good. And I really learned how to get, keep and live that whole health is wealth adage. And maybe you do this too. I look around and I wonder why are so many people not well? Like, what is the deal? How can there be so much disease, pain and stress? All, if you're in the Western world with state-of-the-art medical systems, it just doesn't add up to me. So because I walked myself and hundreds and hundreds of other women, maybe like you, through so many health problems, I am 100% certain that health is available for anyone who wants it and who's willing to make a few shifts. I've written two best-selling books. I'm the founder of an online sacred health journey that's sponsoring this masterclass, by the way, the Sacred Health Academy. I teach creative health processes, and I basically have a lot of tools in my medicine bag. I'm kind of one of those people who has 10,000 hours times 100. (laughs) So whether you're aching to be free from the shadow shackles of stress, or you're tired of pain, or you want more energy, or you have a real health concern that you want to be over with, or all of the above, I'm going to walk you through what it looks like today. I specialize in working with women who are spirit-centered, who need help in leveraging their time, energy, choices, and spiritual wisdom. So all of that is operating in an aligned and optimal way that yields great energy and excellent health. And actually, I work at the intersection between science and spirit because they actually both matter. (laughs) And if that's important to you, too, then you're definitely in the right place. So my intention for our time together is to open your eyes and your head and your heart to the state of your current health so you can bust some moves and make some changes, right? Like we have a big problem in our medical system right now. And please don't get me wrong. There's a lot of amazing things in our medical system. And there's also a lot that slips through the cracks. I tend to see and work with those people because their stuff is falling through the cracks. There are issues, right? The medical system is a strong cultural current. And some people tell me that they feel thrown about in this current. And most people, when they go to the doctor or they look for answers for their health problems within like the main medical system, they don't realize that the system itself is set up for disease management and not necessarily serving people to become their, you know, their most optimal healthy self. And there's a lot more chronic health problems and and disease, despite spending insane amounts of money to find solutions, right? Like we've been doing that for decades and we're not, we're falling behind. We're not getting um, forward, you know, not moving forward in it. It's kind of actually a shell game made to look like health can be gained, but it doesn't play generally out that way, right? So of course, there are amazing discoveries that do serve people, life-saving surgeries, cardiovascular medicine, orthopedics, just to name a few. But the chronic problems or the little niggle problems are falling through the cracks. And maybe you've been helped by the medical system. Maybe you've been scorned. Most most people have a little bit of both of those experiences. But either way, my invitation to you is to take 100% 
100% ownership for your health. And from that foundation, this is key. <laughs> when we decide and we take 100% ownership of our own health, it is from that foundation that we make decisions about how to navigate the medical system, how to use it well, and not to be thrown about, and not to throw ourselves at the mercy of the system and turn over our innate power to heal. So while the current of the downward spiral of health is strong, there is another current of well-being, and it's like a river that you go to and you realize that when you do that, you trust in this well-being and there it's 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 way more natural to feel that feeling of trust in a current of well-being than the insanity and stress of disease. Really. <laughs> and and most we don't learn how to do that, right? Like nobody teaches us how to do that. So less stress is more equals more energy as a first place to start like just period <laughs> we lower our stress we increase our energy it kind of seems like the you know the s word is the new c word <laughs> if if you will and all we're looking for is to tip the scales in favor of energy and and away from stress i mean picture a hamster running on a wheel right the hamster's wheel and the, the poor guy's working really hard, but not moving forward. There's no forward momentum. So as a woman who wants better health, it's all about getting off the hamster's wheel because that gets you nowhere good. It takes a lot of your precious time, energy, and money to remain in the same place. And maybe you read the complimentary um, guide on the uh, easy energy boosters. There were five of them. There's plenty, but I, I just, you know, there were five of them in that one. And the idea, the point in me saying this is that when we do small steps, we just show up small at first with baby steps. We get a new habit. We get some traction with a new habit. And then that becomes established and that creates new grooves. And then you can improve upon it. And you just keep, you know, activating energy and giving no attention to stress. I mean, I'm going to teach you how to do that. Don't worry. <laughs> but it's, you know, I know people are like, oh yeah, right. But but it's just a subtle um, kind of showing up small first in order to, to, to shift your attention, your awareness, your, your consciousness into creating energy. And well, I'm going to come to that in a minute, but, um, it, anyway, poor nutrition, menopause, too little movement, all uh, circulation is a big deal for the body. So it's all those little things that add up. And, um, I, most people that I work with anyway, they really want to get to the root of the problem. They don't want to, you know, they don't want to just put a bandaid on the situation and stress is definitely a root. So the whole idea is to pull that root up, right? <clears throat> One of the real problems is that there are shortcuts to shift to our center. And once we start using these shortcuts, it it, caught, it gives us con complete control over our mind and body. And then what you experience in your mind, body, and life is from a more centered place rather than a stressful place. So you'll be able to remain present and embodied within yourself so you can be in the driver's seat regarding everything that's happening in the realms of your thoughts and your words and your choices and your actions. And all of this is in support of phenomenal health, right? And I'll explain to you what these shortcuts are in just a second. But right now, it's important to know that there are specific things that are required to cultivate and create your best and even your sacred health. Shifting yourself into a current of well-being is vital if you want to reclaim and renew your health. So let's talk about three or there's, yeah, there's five key shortcuts. We're going to talk about the first three. So the first one. This might sound odd, but the first one is permission to feel good in your body and operate with total integrity between your mind, your body, and your spirit. You, we have to give ourselves this permission as an adult. In you know, in in there's a lot of ways that we would would we would want to feel good, right? We want we would want to feel like we're more than enough instead of not enough. We want to enjoy and honor our body instead of be afraid of it. We want to allow ourselves to give and receive lots of love. We want to enjoy the experience of being expressive. But it might seem strange that we have to give ourselves permission to be whole and to feel good, but we do. The cultural programming is the opposite of feeling good. 
we're programmed to suffer. <laughs> we're programmed for pain. It That's not our divine design. But when we land on the playground of life here on earth, there is specific programming that we knew about on a soul level. We're going to talk a little bit more about it, that in a little bit. But the programming of feeling good is opposite. And so we have to consciously choose this. We have to consciously choose to give ourselves permission to feel good and to live whole. And if you're unsure how to do this, ask your heart, you know, hand on heart. She will teach you. I promise I've never asked anything of my heart that she hasn't given me the, um, you know, the next step or the answer to, right? If, um, if you know, placing or placing or posing an inquiry of our heart is a very powerful energy mover. mover. It also, being in inquiry helps our mind to sort of stop spinning a little bit more. So you can ask yourself things like, well, how can I give myself permission? Or will you show me how to give myself permission? Or what's the best way to give myself permission? Here's an interesting spiritual quote. The premise that so many people come from is that good isn't natural. Good must be demanded or manipulated or orchestrated. That's how we think it has to go. But we say that good is natural. It must be asked for and it must be expected. But good is the stream that flows and it's the stream that we want to flow to. So the second shortcut or shift that is important to make after we give ourselves permission to feel good and permission to be whole is that we've got to connect to the source of life. This is a personal medicine for each individual. It's the ultimate healer of all things. Yes, all things. We cannot be disconnected from this source of life, but we can ignore it. <laughs> and that's the problem, right? That's where all hard things come from. This connection when we're attentive to it and conscious about it, activates our inner health intelligence. There is a ton of inner health intelligence that resides in your body, right? It's a blueprint for, for well-being. It knows how to bring your body into right order and function. And it, if you give this inner health ge genius your attention and your consciousness and you know your power, so to speak, not that you're giving away your power, but you're aligning your power with this, you can only be healthy only be healthy. Get this. This sacred part of ourselves is actually 96% of who we are. And we have to invite this part into us, right? It's when it, when we invite it inside of us, it gives our mind access to access to truths beyond the external cultural current, right? So we were talking about that current that we get thrown about in the mainstream kind of disease current. When we align ourselves with this higher part of ourselves, which is way more, 96% is non-physical. We have 4% physical and we focus all of our attention on this 4% to the ignoring of the 96%, right? That's all around us, flows in through and around every particle of our being. And we're choking it off with by our disattention to it, right? So <clears throat> the, the cool thing about the body is that it must execute what is in our mind. So if what is in our mind are, you know, health, unhealthy um, programming, then the body has to execute that. But if we change that program, if we redirect our attention to the, the blueprint, the wholeness, the divine design, the part, you know, the, the programming, it's not even the programming, it's the, the design uh, of health, then our body has to execute it, right? Like that is a universal principle. It's our prime directive as a human being, you know, beyond propagating the species to live in this aligned integrity. Everything that you attempt to do for your health doesn't work well without this integrity. This is why we fall short of this bar that we know, or this, you know, state of being that we know exists, but, but we, we can't, it's like the carrot that we can't reach. Right. And so <clears throat> Your body is like a mirror reflecting whatever is in your mind. It could be the false programming or it could be the true design, right? So um, your mind doesn't know. How, it, it, the thing about our mind disconnected from the wisdom of our body or the, the higher intelligence is that she thinks that she knows how to do this. But the problem is she doesn't. <laughs> because if she did, she would have done it by now, right? Right. Our mind, our thoughts, our beliefs, they can be rewired and recoded. And that's what this, this entire conversation is about, is about um, 
at reactivating what's already inside of us and rewiring our brain to actually align with that. So, um, yeah, yeah. So I, I'll just skip forward to this part. I, I talk with a lot of women who think that it's kind of too hard to do this and it takes too much time to be healthy and time that they don't think that they have, which is funny because it actually takes a lot more time to be, and it, it takes a lot more time and money. Um, and, you know, expense to be unhealthy. And that's, you know, that's not always easy to see initially, but I've done the math and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But when a woman connects to her inner health genius, which attunes her mind to health, she realizes it's way easier than she thought. Her choices become lined up with her mind and it causes her body to heal. And that's way less stressful and actually much easier. And the higher level of energy and health that you're looking for is in connection with your soul or your sacred self. This is your, um, you know, your partner in health, if you will. This connection guides you to everything you need and every good choice that you need to be made aware of to restore your inborn, innate blueprint of health, like period. So our third shortcut is the, um, the choice, the, con the constant decision to honor your body as whole. When we come from the premise that you're whole and not that you're wounded and broken, especially irreparably wounded and broken, then it's a very different situation that unfolds. It, it, and it, this might feel not possible, um, you know, to like let go of all the times that you've tried and failed or the poor choices or the procrastination or the fear of your body, but not to worry. I've got your back on this. There's an elegant way to get past this and to soar into alignment with your higher self and your health. And I'll give you the scoop on that when I talk about the special bonus that comes with the sacred health accelerator uh, uh, path. So notice how these three shifts are, are not external to you. The bottom line is you've got everything you already need inside of you to be the whole being that you truly are. Culturally, we almost always reach outside to find solutions to our problems. But here's what I know for sure. Everything you need, everything I need is inside. So at least going in first gives us the guidance on what to say yes or no to on the outside. And here's the thing. If any one person on the planet has been successful in doing this this way, and there are plenty who have, any other person can as well. I've done it and hundreds of other women that I've personally worked with and other people are working with people all over the planet. So it means that you can too. How do you do it? Uh, how, how you do it is personal to you. It's not like cookie cutter. Of course, there's a few things that hold true for most human beings, but when it comes to optimal health, the plan needs to be personalized to you, to your situation. And spoiler alert, we've got you covered on that part too. So you're, um, you're a very important person on the planet and getting clear on your steps and the, the steps on your path is really key. So let's uh, get ourselves to the next slide. So once you start using these shortcuts, the th first three we just talked about, you know, permission and, um, and connecting and honoring, you'll quickly begin to realize that there is no upper limit to how wonderful and amazing you can feel because you were designed for extra good well-being. You can start accessing that with more ease and grace than you've ever maybe experienced before, maybe even when you were 30. I feel better now than when I was 30. So, um, and then you'll do all this by tapping into this sacred treasure chest that resides in your cells with which every human being has, and it's available to them. So this sacredness that you came into the world with, it got lost along the way to adulthood, but it definitely still lives in you. So that you can just know. I want to just tell you real quickly how I discovered these shortcuts because, um, and then, you know, we'll keep walking through all the things, but I, you know, I've been doing this for a while now, as I said, and several times I've had to evolve myself, as I already mentioned, through a health issue. And a couple of times the issues were pretty serious. So I had to, you know, kind of dig deep. <laughs> um, and I've also had a lot of people to, a lot of opportunity to watch other people who have also succeeded in becoming healthy. So here's what happened. Over time, I saw a lot of people, you know, 
some people would stick with it and some people would give up for various reasons. And, you know, the people that gave up, it was either because I, I asked them, right. They said, they said that they were convinced their genetics w- limited their health, or they had been told, um, thank you to advertising that disease is the order of the day. And that's the programming that they, you know, just couldn't, you know, they just decided to believe in and, you know, or they tried so many ways to be healthy, like the diets and the workouts and the supplements that we've already talked about. And then, and that they just think it doesn't work. So why bother anymore? And I get it. That frustration becomes greater than the desire to be healthy over, you know, like when it keeps happening that way. And then the, I watch the people convince themselves that it's not meant to be at the same time, there were other handfuls of people that were making it happen and they got their mind on board and their body followed. And they started making the small changes, good choices, and using the shortcuts. And pretty soon those small steps added up to big results. And they just didn't stop putting one foot in front of the other. You know, obviously, if we're walking from the East Coast to the West Coast, and we give up in the, in the Midwest, we're not going to get to the West Coast, right? But if we just keep putting one foot in front of the other, our gas on the pedal, or however we're traveling, we'll get there eventually, right? Um, so and now, you know, these people, these women that actually didn't stop putting one foot in front of the other and got the results, they now love how they feel and they'll never go back, they say. So I reverse engineered everything that that they were doing, right? And came up with these core shifts that must be a part of every health journey, you know, the ingredients and the recipe. So today we're, you know, going to keep pulling back the curtain so you can have these top shifts and shortcuts that healthy people have and do. And it seems like we're talking about the opposite of what we've been taught, but let's keep going and you'll see why that is. So, uh, yeah, so here I want to, you know, I want to put an emphasis on when we align with our wholeness that's already inside of us. Here is what wholeness gives us. When we align with that, instead of constantly trying to fix what we think is broken or, you know, yeah, irreparably uh, wounded. That's the other word I was looking for. So here is the promise of your wholeness. It's true for every human being. If you're breathing, it's true for you. That you will increase your energy levels so you can do what matters to you. You will calm your mind of stress and worry so clarity and peace can resume its regularly scheduled programming. (laughs) You activate your cells to be healthy and whole, saving tons of time and money. You, the pro, another promise of wholeness is that you know exactly what you need to truly heal, which sets you free to live in the light of yourself rather than the dark unknown. It also gives you a healthy future to look forward to so you can enjoy what matters to your heart. It's a choice and a decision to live in wholeness rather than to chase health problems. And then you'll begin to notice that these promises of wholeness, you feel them inside of you. They're deep inside and you feel them. You know, we talked about connecting with your inner health genius who has all the answers in regards to what you need to be healthy and whole. She's kind of like your GPS for everything, not just health. You know, we focus on health on this sacred health path, but it actually will affect every part of your life for good. So as you're focused on elevating your health as sacred, your whole life improves also. And then as you practice connecting, you turn on the root to your health and energy, right? From head to heart, from, you know, brain cells to body cells, that kind of thing. And then you get to do the things that matter to you. I mean, family, friendships, maybe you run a business. Mostly you just want to feel good day in and day out, right? I know this might seem over the top and unreachable to you, but I can tell you, I am a 62-year-old woman who is healthier now than I was 30 years ago. I'm increasing wellness wholeness and health, not decreasing it. And it's not the same thing as the anti-aging wagon. That's, it's not my deal there. It's about activating this divine blueprint, which the byproduct is naturally these, you know, this health and wholeness and well-being. And it's not like finding all the right things to anti-age. I, that's not my thing. So I want to, to, and I want to invite you to, to stretch the limits of what you think is possible, if you will. And at the very end, we're going to do that quantum health upgrade uh, audio. I'm going to give you that. So that that audio is going to wake up your mind, heart, body, and system. So be sure to stay with me. Do not miss that. It is a 
Um, it's a, a connection with the version of you that is already whole, healthy, has energy, and is has a calm, clear head inside of you. That exists in that 96% of you that's non-physical, that is sometimes hard to remember, exists. <laughs> it exists in every particle and wave of the quantum field of which you and I are a part. We can't not be. It is impossible for you or I to be separate from, from nature. And so this quantum field is, is, is nature, right? There is no other way to be healthy. It's not magic or woo. It's not an overnight scheme. This requires your attention. Everything I talk about is based in science. And you have to really want to be healthy and willing to follow your soul's knowing that wholeness is already within you. My results and the women I've worked with have extraordinary energy, beautiful calm minds, and excellent health because we all do the work. I mean, the stuff I'm sharing with you is going to massively simplify the way you approach your health, but it requires that you pay attention to swapping out old ways of thinking, feeling, and choosing about your health for new and much better ways. For example, I want to tell you my diet is very clean. <laughs> I don't eat sugar anymore. I eat more, but I do eat more than my body needs. And um, there's just still a little bit of excess that's regularly there because I love food and I don't want to stop when it tastes good. Right. Um, but what's interesting is earlier, a few months ago, I did a detox and I felt re really good, really clean on the inside. And I could really discern this, um, the difference between this, this clean feeling and the gummy feeling I feel when I eat more than I need to. So I thought, well, I did this with sugar. Why don't I just, you know, and I, and I tried so many times to give up sugar. That's a whole nother story in itself. It, you know, I talk about that in the, um, on the sacred health path, but, uh, I thought, well, let me just do the same thing with chips and crackers and, um, what was the, oh, popcorn was the other thing I would overeat. It, you know, those things that have, that just, you know, it's hard to eat just a little bit, right? Like I tell myself, well, I'll just have a little bit, but it doesn't really work that way. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to give that up. I'm going to give it up for four months. It's easier to tell our mind that there's a, it's a short-term thing than it is, you know, to say it's forever more because then it feels deprived and it won't, it'll, it'll rebel. <laughs> so um, I, I just, you know, I just did it. And now I, 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 I'm like three and a half months in and I feel amazing. Right. So I'm not saying you have to do this. I'm just saying when we make these shifts that our body is asking us to do, you know, it, uh, really big things happen in what is really a short period of time, you know, two, three, four months, short period of time to make, you know, a, a 180 with our health. Right. So I love the crossroads where spirit and science meet. And I, everything I talk about is based in leading edge research. And so everything I say is based in that. You, you know, you can just know that I'm kind of a nerd that way. And so, it, you know, and in, just know that in case you don't hear some of this stuff from your doctor, don't blame your doctor. It's because mainstream medicine is usually 20 to 40 years behind leading edge research. Um, so th the idea is, is to, is to know what it, it takes at the leading edge to be truly whole and healthy and have optimal health. Um, and you know, that saying, if we keep doing the same thing, uh, we'll keep getting the same results. So what I'm talking about is doing things better at this leading edge of understanding in order to get those really good and better results. So, um, let's see here, where was I on this? So yeah. Okay. Let's just take ourselves forward here if we, if we will. So you might feel sometimes like there's this upper limit to how amazing you can feel. And, you know, maybe you already feel like you've reached your peak and you're saying, well, you know how they say over 40, it's all downhill hill from here. Uh, or maybe like it, that, that kind of idea or way of thinking is catching up with you. I hear this from a lot of people, right? A lot of women, they feel like really feeling good is out of reach. Like they've hit their upper ceiling. I mean, we say the glass ceiling in business for women, but you know, there's a, there's a ceiling for almost everything. So if you've ever read the book, the big leap, it, it kind of explains that really beautifully. So, um, 
you know, I, I guess a lot of women just feel like it's not possible to live without pain or fatigue or stress. And it's kind of just the way it is in an aging body. Um, and they, it makes them feel like they want to give up because it's too frustrating. We've mentioned this earlier, but yet they don't want to give up because they also want to feel good for the re remainder of their days, right? Like that's my whole motivation. I want to feel good. I don't care how long I live. Um, but I want to feel good for all the days that I live. Right. And that's, so that's my, um, you know, that's my 100% intention. So, and it, you know, getting out of that loop of like, not of being hopeful and then hopeless is, is really, you know, that takes a lot of energy to be on that loop. The first thing that needs to happen that changes everything is a decision to cultivate your sacred health. That might sound weird, but everything begins with a decision. We can't just say, oh, yeah, yeah, I really want it. We have to say, I am choosing, I am making a decision right now, right here, today, that I am going to live all the days of my life as healthy and whole as possible. And mainly because it's your birthright. It's what the sacred health path, health path helps women successfully do is to say, I'm putting my stake in the ground. I'm stewarding and cultivating my health. I'm curating my life as healthy and whole, that kind of thing, right? Just because it's common for people over a certain age to decline doesn't mean it's natural. Your heart and soul knows this. It's the head that gets in the way. So let's just say a little more about that. Um, the old way, we're just going to quickly go through this, is that you feel a symptom, you Google it. You might freak yourself out for hours or longer. I hear this all day long. <laughs> you may get really scared and maybe even begin a rampage of worry. Oh my God, what if it's a brain tumor? Oh my God, then I'm going to have to be, you know, my, my whole family is going to have to take it. I mean, it, it, there's any number of rabbit holes one of us could go down. Maybe you get yourself into the doctor right away. Maybe you end up taking this or that medication. You frantically search online for options. You talk with friends. If you're lucky, you pull a needle out of a haystack and maybe you'll find a good solution that helps until the next thing pops up. It's kind of a version of cross your fingers medicine, and it's complicated. We have been taught to overcomplicate what it takes to be healthy. I already said, if you go to your doctor, just know your doctor is trained to look for the problem, look for a problem, give a solution, right? People don't like it when they go to their doctor and they don't get any solutions, right? And doctors know that all of this are, all of these are unspoken agreements that we have between, you know, ourself and the medical system. When you are frantically searching, you are in a stress response and you're out of integrity. You're out of alignment with your higher mind. You don't have access to higher wisdom or higher intelligence. And she won't be able to, this higher mind, this higher, you know, divine love, intelligence, wisdom, part of you won't be able to guide you to an aligned solution. If you're in a stress response, you can learn to redirect this energy to focus, which becomes clarity, which becomes solutions, which turns your body into health. This dividing line is that upper ceiling, right? Like we just were on that slide about that upper ceiling. So this line is where we bump into at that upper ceiling. This is the realm of spirit, source, the divine, the sphere of God, if you want to say, the quantum field, the field of intelligence. When people say, oh, I relate to the all that is as the universe, they're relating to it you know, in these ways, this we know the benevolent universe to be, right? It's also referred to as the fifth dimension. So alchemy of this energy into this energy is our purpose. It's our reason for being. Like a lot of people look for their purpose on the planet. Like, oh, you know, they, they're trying to find like what they're supposed to do in, you know, what business or what job or, you know, that kind of thing. But our true purpose as a human being, this is so important to hear. Is to, is to do the work of transforming this energy into this energy in every crack and crevice of our life. No one else's life, just our life. You do you, I do me. And it changes the entire fabric of life by you doing you and me doing me. It's okay if you don't know how to do that quite yet, you know, with, with uh, any degree of um, efficiency. <laughs> or even knowing, but you can learn. This is what is going on in the collective con in humanity right now. More and more people, people call it awakening, you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter what we call it. What, what the awakening is, is learning like, oh, the, whatever shows up in my life is mine to transform and I'm going to return it to love. So that's, that's like, kind of like the whole game. And I was just going to say one more thing about that, which is 
most people, a lot of people move around in this bandwidth constantly. Like you might go from here to over here and then you feel like, oh, it's different over here. So it must be better, but it isn't. It's the hamster's wheel. <laughs> it might be better for a minute, but when the honeymoon's over, shit, pardon my French, we've got anxiety now and we've got division now and we've got fatigue now. Oh, I used to have, you know, all these things. It doesn't matter. You get the point. It's the same energy in all of this bandwidth. The, your job as a human being is to recognize that there's this upper ceiling and consciously, attentively, with your awareness, include this energy into your mind, body, and life. So that in time, in, it could be the shortest amount of time, it could be drawn out for lifetimes, <laughs> but so that this energy is more dominant than this energy. It's a tipping of the scales, if you will. And when you're here and you recognize it, if you're on this call, then you are being invited. <laughs> you're being called. It's an initiation, if you will, to lay down some of these things in the lower bandwidth and take up some of these more serving things in the higher bandwidth. This is how we discover our sacred self through our choices in connection with our heart and, and our soul. And then we create, we cultivate, and we curate health, vitality, and peace in this way. And there's really no other way. This is our purpose. And this is the true meaning of healing. Being a good hearted person, like a lot of times people will say to me, but I have a good heart. And it's true. They do. I mean, I, I almost always meet people like I don't meet people that don't have good hearts is what I'm trying to say. But having a good heart and living from the heart aren't necessarily the same thing. Heart is fifth dimensional living. And what if we're not actually healing our heart, but rather our heart is healing us? Like that's coming from a place of wholeness because our heart is the portal to this connection to our higher self, our higher presence. It all happens through our heart. This is a doorway to all of this fifth dimensional energy. And so what if that part of us or ourselves is already whole and perfect and that it's doing, it's helping us heal, right? Did you know that the heart is the only organ that doesn't get cancer? It's, it's stunning. This, I, I mean, I could do a whole masterclass, you know, times the gazillion on just the heart, but anyway, let's move on. Um, this is your job. It's my job as a human being to transform this energy into this energy. And, you know, for those who, I mean, this has been going on for decades, right? For those who are like, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really, I don't really know if that's, if I, that's A, if that's how it is or, and B, if I can do it, it's okay. It's okay. If you feel that way, my faith, my faith in the knowing of this is food for someone like you, you can stand on my shoulders. You know, there's that thing, stand on my shoulders until you, you know, can do it or how, you know, however that goes. <laughs> um, in fact, in, you know, speaking of shoulders, I had several years ago, I had this really high and, you know, high, high, uh, strong shoulder pain on my right shoulder. I mean, I couldn't lift, can do all kinds of, I did all the things, you know, PT and anti-inflammatories and acupuncture and herbs and all the things. <clears throat> One day I was so frustrated. It was like almost two years in, I mean, it was long and drawn out things, things become, chronic when we're missing the intelligent message of the stagnation. Stagnation will always translate into pain because our design is to circulate and flow, right? So if stagnation is allowed to carry on for too long, then there's going to be pain. So I'm like, what is going on? I sat on my bed. I thought about it. I'm like, okay. So the, my shoulder is in line with my heart. What is my heart trying to tell me? You know, what does my shoulder know that I don't, <laughs> meaning my own mind, you know, because there's intelligence in every cell of our being. And what kind of dropped in was um, that because this was the shoulder was the level with my heart that I was to learn how to expand my heart to be more loving. It's so funny because right away I was like, oh, I was kind of indignant. I was like, I'm loving. What are you talking about? <laughs> You know, I'm I'm not an unloving person, but now the, the 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 carrying on of the messaging or the the um, the guidance was, it's not that you're not loving; it's just that you have room for way more love, and so you're you're at a precipice where you you 
it's time you're being initiated into, into expanding your heart to include more love. And I was like, Oh, okay. So I got busy. I got busy doing my work on that. And I had no idea how much more love there was to, it's like when a parent has one kid and they're like, Oh my God, my heart's so big now. And then they have a second kid and they're worried before the second kid comes. Will I have enough love for that? And then, you know, the second kid comes and it's like the heart is even bigger now because they have a second kid and there's, you, you, you know, the idea, but it's, it's, you know, when we're talking about love for life, and I'm not talking about loving your life, like the manicures and the hikes. And, you know, I I'm talking about the, like being in a, an exchange of love with the, all of creation, right. With everything it it's, it, that is a different phenomenon of love, right? So that's a whole nother thing I could go on and on about. So let's move ourselves along. So the new way, and this is way more simple than we realize. So the old way was Googling and going to the doctor and taking the medication and worrying and, you know, going down rabbit holes and all that. The new way is that simplicity is our true nature. Complication is a byproduct of a disconnected mind. When we are connected, there is a serenity and a simplicity that gives you that faith and that knowing that every in this moment, everything is okay. And then you carry that to the next moment. And then you carry that to the next moment. And it's like you're stringing pearls until you have this unbreakable serenity. And from that comes a, 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 a stillness and a, a, like a cosmic silence to your mind and a simplicity that gets everything done in, in ways that you can't even imagine in your mind, you will be able in the new way to tra- tr- tell yourself the truth regularly, which requires your connection to life because only life force, only your higher presence knows the truth. Your mind does not. Your mind absolutely has no access to the truth on its own. <laughs> you have to know that. If you do not know that, if you continue to tell yourself that you can do this in, you know, with your own mind, um, you will be wrong and you will have to come back around and start at you know, square one and do it, you know, start over again and figure it out. Right. Um, I, I'm, I just want to save you that time. Uh, there are some things that took me a long time. I've been on this path for 42 years 44 years, actually, it took me so long that sometimes I'd say to myself, seriously, did it really need to take this long? (laughs) Like, what the heck, you know, anyway, but it's my own resistance and rebellion that I've learned, you know, over time, that is what slows me down on the path. So simple is, is, is yours for the taking, you know, true understanding is yours for the taking. And also know that if a symptom pops up, you just see it as a message of intelligence and you just do the thing, the simple thing to bring circulation back and to, to bring right function, right order back, right? You connect, you command, and you instruct your being to heal. That is our job. It is not your doctor's job to do that. It is your job. Your doctor can assist you or any other health practitioner can assist you. But if you give that job to anyone else, except for your inner health genius, you will fall short of health. Your body will heal, it will increase energy, it will have calm and clarity, and and your center will like, it will be, you will be in, in the center of the stage in your center that way. If you need something externally, your higher intelligence, your inner health genius will make that very clear. It's not like we're supposed to live without these things. It's just, it's like putting the cart before the horse, right? If we run outside and choose those things externally first, before we come to our center, then it's the cart before the horse. If horse, if we're in our center, we do our connection. If we present the situation and we, and we ask for the guidance, then we get the things that are important, right? It's simple. We connect, we command, we have clarity, and all of that aligns us to health. Self-expression is also another thing that aligns us to health. Um, self-expression and and our own version of being creative, whether that's how you decorate your living room or literally paint on a canvas or how you set a table or talk to your teenager, all of those are creative self-expression, and there's healing in that, right? So let's see what we've got up next. So why is this so powerful? And what is the secret sauce here? The only healer on the planet is the source of life or the source of love. Those are the same things. And you already are this. 
that 96% of you that we've been referencing throughout our time together is 100% whole, is 100% healthy, has a full tank of energy, has everything that you need to live in integrity and alignment with wholeness and health. Your job is to harness it like the wind, invite it in, and call forth on the regular a connection with that, right? It's like, pick your very favorite person on the per, on the planet that's alive. You, you, you cultivate a relationship with that person, whether that's your spouse or a friend or a, 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 a offspring or, you know, any, anything like that. Maybe it's a pet. It doesn't matter. You cultivate, we don't have relationships unless we cultivate the relationships and unless we spend time, unless we bring those people along to things that we enjoy doing, go take a hike with them, have a glass of wine, whatever the thing is, right? I now invite my higher self to everything I'm doing. I talk to her like she's my BFF <laughs> and you will learn how to do that too. Your true nature, which is health, expression, abundance, and love. And you might not be able to see this, but that's an acronym, H-E-A-L for HEAL, can only come from this place, right? From this connection, from this, this central core of creation that is life. A doctor isn't your source of life. A medication or supplement is not your source of life. Their, their support is most effective when you're in your centered and sacred and sourced self. Everything else is an external grasping for straws. Here's something to know. This is like the secret. It's not on this slide. Light carries love in the universe. Every particle and wave of life, every particle and wave in the multiverse is light. It's, it's a, it's a um, particle of light. Light carries love. This is yin yang, alpha omega, masculine, feminine. Like this is that dance of co-creation, constant co-creation. Light carries love. And it's the same for you. So your, your invitation of this, the, the light from the central core of creation or from your higher self into you is a healing and personal medicine for you. So that's a big deal. One of the things to know is that we're not really finding ourselves, right? We don't have to go anywhere to access what we already have inside. You may need to peel away and release what's covering it up. That's true for almost every one of us because we've, we've all been dropped into the matrix, right? But it is there. Your whole self is there. If you're still breathing, it's there. Women who work with, uh, who work with this path become more clear-headed, even brilliant, resourceful, present, and grounded. And from all of those places, they get to do what all, all the things that matter to them. They have more motivation, more confidence, energy, better boundaries, because they're finally getting out of their own way. So let's just talk about a couple of women who have had some really good success with, um, with their journey of sacred health. So Susan had, she was stuck for years. She was definitely at that glass ceiling. Um, you know, she just was kind of like, well, this is, must be how it is. I think she's like 67, 66, something like that. And she also had this thing where she felt like she was doing pretty good at, for her age. So who was she to ask for more per se? Um, but especially when so many others were suffering in the world, like there's this that we do. <laughs> it's like, well, how can I ask for better when I have it better than most people? But she thought that because she also that because she also thought that because she paid for insurance, that that's all she should be spending money on in order to be healthy. And um, and then she was spending a lot of money on medications and doctor visits and high blood pressure and overweight problems and you know all kinds of stuff. And the problem for her was that her health was declining every single year for like the last ten years, and it was kind of scaring her. And she does wish in hindsight that she would have spent more on her health, you know, more than just the insurance premium, um, which she now sees would have saved her thousands and thousands of dollars. These are her words. Um, and it's just kind of a broken be belief that we have, isn't it? That we, you know, if we spend money on our health insurance, that that should be enough. That should be all the money that we should have to spend in order to be healthy, but it doesn't actually work that way. Um, I personally spend at least $1,500 a month on beyond my medical insurance premium to keep my health 
in optimal, you know, peak health. So, um, and what I get for that expenditure every day is feeling great every day day, no loss of time or income and in managing diseases. I don't, I have a clear mind. I don't have to run myself to the doctor. I think I've been to the doctor once it was for an annual exam, you know, like in the last two years. So that is not my reality to have to spend money on a lot of that stuff. I have a sense of fulfillment because, you know, I love feeling whole and healthy and the, the feeling of you know, well-being. And I've said this before, but the adage of health as well, you know, couldn't be more true. And this is true for um, for Susan too. She she felt broken. She felt like the whole world was broken. So what was the point? But actually, people aren't broken. Only beliefs are broken, and we can mend our beliefs. Um, and and pretty soon we don't feel broken anymore. And that's exactly what Susan did. So um, that's kind of cool to. Oh, where am I here? I'm not in the right. Uh get myself hold on a second I have to get myself oh and by the way I, I meant to tell you I'm probably going to run over an hour and I'm really really sorry about that I just um I, I'm talking as fast as I can and I I I yeah, yeah I'm just I'm trying to um not keep you here for too long but the information is so juicy so I I don't want to like cheat you of any of it so let me just get that down a little bit okay let me whoops where were we here uh, let me go back we, we already went through all of that we did that we did that. Okay. Meet Kara. She's a busy, busy perfection professional, almost 50. Well, actually she is now 50 struggling with low back pain, skin rashes, digestive problems, anxiety, divorces. She began to manage. She began to manage her mind in. So on her path, she began to manage her mind and see herself as healthy. And that just alone helped her make much healthier choices. Um, even when she wanted to go back to her whole, her old way, she didn't. And now she sleeps like a baby has no back pain. She's met an amazing man, got a promotion, repaired her relationship with her, with different family members. And basically she, in her words, she said, she's rewired her brain and she's taken advantage of the neuroplasticity, which every brain has. <laughs> So that's always good to um, take advantage of. Every human being gets to do that. So let's talk about the fourth key shortcut. You've already gotten three, permission, connection, and honoring our body. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the fourth one is most women need a guide. Like they, or, you know, they need to be shown how to get past where they already have gotten themselves because they don't know how to get past the, the place that they've gotten themselves. They've done their best. They've gotten themselves to a certain place, you know, and now they're at a fork in the road and they're like, well, I know there's more, but I don't know what to do. I I've been in that place, you know, at least, I don't know, at least a dozen times in my life. I can, I can honestly tell you that. Um, let me try to move this down. So we're not uh, bumping over. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make this all perfect for you. Okay. All right. Everybody, every, every person, but we're, you know, we're primarily talking about women who wants to be healthy, really needs to study and learn it from those who have it, who know how to get themselves there. There's several things that need to come on board, new ideas and new how to's accountability and community. Those are so important. If we don't have, I know that when I'm in a place where I'm at that fork in the road, I don't know what the new ideas are. And if I did, I, I don't even know if I would know how to do them. So those two things are like when I go through a doorway with a teacher and a guide or a mentor, I, these are the things that I am um, joyful about learning. I also need to be held accountable because it's so easy to slip back into our old the, the old ways are so alluring and so seductive that we, you know, we just, it, it's just natural. It's human nature to do that. But when we have accountability, our tendency is to meet the mark of that um, level of accountability that we're being held to. And then community, when we're in, in a community of like-hearted women who are, you know, looking and, and getting themselves forward momentum on some, on something, in this case, we're talking our sacred health, it, it matters. I mean, we learn from each other, right? That's why I like to do, you know, things in small groups, because why do I keep doing that? Um, let me go back. Okay. So it's about upgrading our beliefs um, about what's possible or things will stay the same. That's just the way life is. We have to gather new ideas and we have to learn how to implement them. We have to learn them from people who have done it. <laughs> and, um, and that determines when we get new ideas, when we get uh, the way of understanding how to implement them, it determines how we can make different choices and different actions that lead to better, better health. It saves tons of time, 
tons of money over the long run and tons of, of frustration. You know, you can plot along. Maybe you've already been doing that for a while. Um, maybe you're if you're tired of plotting, then you know, th then you need to consider this fourth shortcut, right? If you feel like you've done everything you know how to do, maybe you already know that you should be doing certain things, but you can't quite get yourself to do them <laughs> and stay on track, then you got to get support or those things will keep going along the same way as they currently are. And you need a plan and you need a teacher to help you take action and you need a mentor. You know, think about a doctor. It takes a long time to train. And if they didn't go through all the training, they'd be a terrible doctor. <laughs> they couldn't be a doctor, but you get the point, right? Like we have to put ourselves in a training program, so to speak, so that we can learn what we need to learn to take ourselves to the next level. So let's go on and talk about, um, I love this woman. Let me just get, get this up here. So I can get, okay. So this is um, Galena and she felt mostly good. She had a string of niggling things like asthma and sinus stuff and allergy stuff and a you know, low back issue that would pop in every once in a while. She was definitely one of those Google women. She would Google self-proclaimed, she admits it. <laughs> um, she also calls herself a worrier and she Googled everything which inevitably made her feel really nervous really afraid and worried, sick, literally worried, sick. Right. And so she, um, you know, she really learned how to trust her, the intelligence of her body on her journey. And <clears throat> that's kind of a really important point, isn't it? Cause feeling like you trust your body is a really big deal. If you, if things keep cropping up, then we lose trust in our body. Right. And there's no, just to remind ourselves and to learn and to teach ourselves and to create brand brain tech tracks for the fact that there is no limitation on health and well-being. If you reach for more, it doesn't mean that someone else is going to have less, right? So that idea that we talked about if like, how, who am I to ask for feeling better when there's so many people that I feel way better than anyway in the world, like so many people worse off than me. In fact, the actually, this is a really important point. The more of us that awaken this latent health that's inside of each one of us, the more it becomes available to everyone else who wants it, right? It's like a, it's a ripple, it's a butterfly effect. If you've ever heard of that term, it, it, it ripples out into the collective conscious. And the more people who are doing something, the more it's available to someone else who might want to be doing it too. It's a law of energy. And um, you're just being also a good example in your life. So anyway, now Galena is calm. She pivots to truth within three seconds this is her words and she feels better than ever her pain is gone and she trusts her body right like that's a big deal she remembers that her body is on her side and is intelligent she re recently said to me that the sacred health path has has everything that she needs to be healthy and that she's so grateful to be on this path so um if you don't make time for your wellness you will be forced to make time for illness. I don't know where that came from, but it was, uh, you know, something I lifted <laughs> from somebody because it's so true, right? You can't outsource your health and well-being. We can outsource some things, but we cannot outsource our, self, our health and well-being. And we've been kind of doing that for too long and the cost has been high. So you can want health a lot, but that doesn't matter until you decide that you're going to do something in order to gather and gain a momentum that creates health in your mind, body, and life. And one of the things I've heard for years is that people don't have time to do healthy things. Like they'll just say, oh, I just don't have time to do, you know, prep or whatever the thing is. And here's why taking the time to curate your health actually saves you time. And this is true for money also. Some years back, I actually did the math for all the doctor appointments, PT appointments, running out to get meals, worrying about a health problem, Googling a health problem, and all the things that we do when we're not in a stable and healthy place, all that adds up to about 10 to 15 hours a week. That is a lot of time that we, now that may or may not be your case, but this was the average when I took, you know, like a sampling of, I think it was like 50 or 53 people or something like that. It averaged out to be about 10 or 15 hours a week to, to do the things because we're avoiding the things that would actually save us that 10 or 15 hours a week. It's kind of a part-time job, isn't it? And maybe you can relate, maybe, you know, for you it's less, maybe it's more, I don't know, but any investment of your time 
in 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 this kind of stuff, Googling and running out to get meals and all that is kind of wasted time, right? So if you want to get that time back and stop wasting time and learn how to redirect your time, energy, and resources towards towards like excavating what's already in you, which is this blueprint for being well, um, that's really the best return on your investment. It's the only one that gives you a return on your investment, really. So anyway, that's just something to keep in mind. Let's see what we have next. Um, oh, I wanted to just share with you why I am actually doing this. I know because of this butterfly effect in the collective conscious that each, as each woman gets healthier and we in the West, we have choices. We have choices more than other women in the world. And this, I could go on for about this, but it matters to me that I make those choices at the best of my ability because I know it affects every other woman in the pool of humanity. And if I have a way of doing something that would make another life better, um, that is very inspiring to me. It's actually one of my biggest inspirations. And, it, you know, are you learning about better health choices releases more wisdom into the collective, which in turn makes the world a better place. So a lot of times women will tell me, I just don't know what to do to make the world a better place. And yet they're doing like not the right things to make themselves healthy. And we have like a heart to heart conversation about how doing those things to make their, her healthy actually makes in turn makes the world a better place. And I am devoted to this path, not only so that I feel good, but for the purpose of making the world a better place. It's one of the best investments and impactful choices that I can give to the world is, you know, it has the greatest impact is, is if I live as healthy and whole as I have the capacity to do. I don't have to fix everything that's wrong with the world. I don't think that's any one person's job. I do have to do my part though. And, you know, I always say that besides divine love, who I'm now fully in, you know, union and connection with, she, she is very inspiring and, you know, inviting me to do this. So <laughs> just know that as each of us do our parts, uh, our own part, then it, it, it makes a, a very big mm -hmm. difference, right? And the challenge is, I'm going to um, let you listen to a short little um, interview I did with one of the gals who has been tending her sacred health for, boy, coming up on three years now. Um, let, let's just listen to her for a second. Hey, welcome. We are here with Angel today, and she has been a, um, a long time actually founding member of the Sacred Health Academy. And we're just going to do a quick chat with her about, um, first off, let's, let me ask you, Angel, how, how was your health, you know, we can call health like your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health, how before you came on board and, you know, took the journey of the Sacred Health Academy? Yeah, thank you. I, you know, I think that for me, um, spiritually and emotionally, one of the biggest things that I struggled with is really vacillation mm. and constantly seeking answers externally and um, anxiety. Mm. I, I, I dealt with a lot of anxiety and that affected me mentally, emotionally, and, and physically. And it affected my, my sleep pattern, my, you know, my weight. Um, it triggered within me patterns of not not really taking good care of myself, you know, whether that be nutritionally or, you know, with different food addictions. So um, I definitely, you know, struggled quite a bit with, I would say, anxiety and um, just that vacillation, constantly looking for these external, you know, answers for for what would soothe me. Got it. Yeah. And and what, what would you say, how would you say your world is, your health, you know, all those things you talked about um, at this point, now that you've been on this path for a minute? Yeah, yeah, thank you. I think that the biggest thing for me is being able to go within mm -hmm. and trust myself and trust that connection is there for me. And I think I still get off track from time to time, but my ability to get back on track is a lot quicker. My ability to connect to my higher self or to the divine is a lot more solid and like I feel it more instantly now and it's able to help me align with, you know, my self-care and my ability to really um, go within. Mm -hmm. and, and do you feel like your health is better because of all of that? Absolutely. I feel strong and good and um, I'm sleeping better. I have more energy. I spend less time in the realm of anxiety and, and more time just, you know, kind of figuring out what I need. 
Right. So you're you're like more stable. Tending. Yeah. Yeah. Tending. Yeah. Tending. Yes. Yes. Right. That's, yeah. a That's a word. Is it right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I want everyone to know that you are a rock star because you have really tended and cultivated and curated you know, your, your self, your health, and you know, on this path. And I've, you know, I've been a sacred witness to it and it's been really beautiful to observe and, and witness. So, um, you know, you, you need to, you know, be celebrated and we, we could probably talk until midnight, but we won't keep everybody about all the interesting things that have happened to you in that connection to, you know, to source um, in, in various different ways, but we don't have that much time, but needless to say, it, it's been, that part has been kind of interesting, I think. Yeah, Lori, thank you. I, I so appreciate your guidance. And, you know, while I feel you've, you know, provided so many tools along the way within the Sacred Health Academy, I think it's so, like, I'm able to grab it and individualize it and, and really go within. And so it's just been really powerful. And I awesome for that. Yeah, thank you. And I mean, one more woman in her center, like you described, makes the world a better place, doesn't it? It does. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Okay, so let's move ourselves to, so I want to introduce to you the Sacred Health Accelerator, which is a 16-week virtual group program, and this is if what we've been talking about has been really resonating in your heart, then you want to really listen up to this stuff, because this is this is where you will um, make a significant improvement in your health in uh, what is to be a, you know, really a short period of time, which is 16 weeks. You'll have access to being engaged for a lot longer than that but this is like we're really going to dive in and we're going to create a groove and a momentum that that doesn't let you turn back i guess is the best way to say it you'll be able to release stress and blocks old and new that have kept your health out of reach you know that like you try really hard and it just slips away and you can't you know hold on to it or keep it that kind of thing or even procrastination you'll increase your energy levels and most women as angel mentioned sleep much better you will get your nutrition right once and for all in, in easy fun colorful ways i i mean colorful because of the rainbow of you know foods that we that we can nourish ourselves with you'll decrease pain and inflammation you'll activate your inner personal medicine that heals with lasting results this is the key it doesn't do any good to put a band-aid on something if the root of the situation is not tended so you, you know in order to have lasting health and lasting results with the things that you're doing um you know you you have to really uh come at it from a very different place than the band-aid place right you want you'll upgrade your DNA. Now, this may or may not be something you've ever thought about, but your up your DNA will get an upgrade. Your life force, your yin yang, or your masculine feminine balance will come into um, better balance than probably you've ever had access to before. You'll have instant access to this still point of peace that is inside your heart. It's inside every human being's heart, and uh, it, I mean. It, it just, you don't, you may or may not know it's there. You don't even know how peaceful and centered and um, like serene and still you can feel until you activate this part of your heart, right? And honestly, this journey is your next level of healing to wholeness. It's an initiation into more of your higher sacred self. And don't worry, that part of you, that higher sacred self, she knows the way. And I, my job is to help your mind, you know, just kind of keep putting one foot in front of the other. The rest of the work is done by your higher presence, right? I'm opening this program to begin on Monday, June 19th for a maximum of 12 people. I'll probably, it'll probably be another year before I do this again. Um, so you, you know, you don't want to wait a whole nother year to access your, your greatest health, right? Like it will decline. If you're in decline, it's going to keep declining unless you do something to create a different spiral, which is an upward spiral of health, which is what we do in this program. Um, yeah. I mean, you, you just don't want to wait a whole nother, um, year to make to let things get worse so starting now and reversing the decline into this upward spiral will get give you energy inner peace well-being you know you'll practice alchemizing your ego into soul which is the whole point of a life by the way which may not make sense right now but it will make sense and you know very very soon into the program and you'll be able to maintain a beautiful natural balance within your own inner ego system so um let me just switch the slide here. This is this is for you. This Sacred Health Accelerator program is for you. Um, if you're a spirit-centered woman and you're 
in the second half of your life or looking toward the second half of your life and you're struggling with low energy, you have more weight than you'd like, you have more stress than you'd like, you worry of tension and pain or a health concern that's really, you know, troubling you. And you're looking for ways to increase energy, lose weight, lower your stress, get rid of the niggling health problems and reset your health set point, especially in ways that are in line with natural law, right? Like that is our design is to line our our healthy set points with nature. And if you know deep in your heart and soul that there has to be more health and wholeness than what is currently available in mainstream medicine, then this is definitely something for you to consider saying yes to. You are aware that you are made up of particles of light. Maybe you are, maybe you you aren't aware of that, but every particle and wave of energy in the multiverse is actually a particle of life. And you're ready to embody your next level of empowerment in regards to this relationship with light. And you want to heal, you want health, you want expression, you want abundance. And you want love. And of course, um, that's, you know, who doesn't want that, right? So let's see what we have next. So here's what you get in the Sacred Health um, Accelerator. You get the 16 weeks plus an additional one-year membership to the Academy. It's It's an online portal with a ton of like tools and teaching things and videos and audios and worksheets. You don't, you don't have to use it all, but it's all there. And there's, it's missing nothing. I mean, a lot of women say, wow, this really, you really have everything going in here, right? So um, you you will not be lacking for anything and, and it'll all be available as, as soon as you say yes to the program. Um, So you can go through it as fast or as slow. You'll have plenty of time. The 16 weeks is, is curated. So you know, we'll pull from the information in there and you'll be shown exactly what that looks like and exactly, you know, how that will work. You're going to want to keep about a, a, a two hours or so a week to invest in yourself in this. Um, some weeks it'll be less and some weeks it might be a little bit more. It really depends on you and how much you want to, you know, sort of really create that groove, a deep groove early. You will also get the very beginning of our program, you'll get a leading edge release process that you will have for life. And the, the releases of all the past disappointments, all the past health failures, all the procrastination that shows up for you around health, all the things that haven't worked, we are, we were going to release all of that in a very easy and graceful process so that you can start with a clean slate and a fresh, you know, sort of like a fresh um, mind and heart, if you will. Um, you will get energy and clarity and balance with ease and grace. You will not be allowed, so to speak, as your guide. You you know, this is not something that we um, support women in doing, which is to, to do anything in this program under duress or tension or stress. You come back to the place of ease and grace, and that is priceless, I will tell you. You get two calls a month, live calls, so there'll be a total of eight, because what you'll, you'll be having play work, if you will, in between your calls. And then the calls will be to answer questions, get you over some humps, um, you know, whatever's going on for you with all the material that you've absorbed between calls. Um, And then also you will get unlimited, well, I I say max 20, but you know, most people don't use that. Um, These 15 minute laser support, support sessions. uh, I'd love to do them by Zoom, but we can also do them by by phone. Um, We can do it by email, whatever is most, convenient for you to just like, if you bump up against something, there's no reason to sit in that, uh, you know, on top of that bump, we want to just move you through with grace and ease. And so you have really, you know, that anytime you need it. There's a huge resource library in the online portal um, with articles and YouTube videos and, um, you know, music and just everything that you could possibly need, you know, journaling, journals and all all kinds of things that you would, uh, that you would need to make this journey the most successful that it can possibly be. There's also something called a mind medicine vault with guided imagery and um, audios and videos just to, you know, just to keep your mind, just to help you remember, oh, health is mine. Well-being is natural. Um, I am taking you know, taking myself on this path on purpose. Now, if you were to add all this stuff up, it would come up to about $11,000. Um, you know, and we know that in order to save money, sometimes we have to spend money first. And I, you know, I've mentioned to you, I've spent literally tens of thousands of dollars, um, which in, in learning how to do this, you know, learning how to like 
be, to operate at this optimal and high leading edge research level of what it means to get and stay healthy, um, which I now get to pass on to you. <laughs> and, you know, I just am someone who invests in myself. I invest in growing and learning. And, you know, most of that goes into the health, in the, the bucket of health, if you will. Um, so let's, um, let's just move our next slide here. I'm going to move this. So here's, Here's a little bit of a peek into the, um, ah, I do that, into the, and you'll, you'll get an information page where you can look at all of this. Whoops, there it is. So you enter, you get, you know, there's like a, um, um, there's a welcome, all kinds of welcome stuff. I, I shouldn't say all kinds because I don't want to make you feel overwhelmed, but there's everything you need to just go, oh, take this next, this step first, then take this next step and, you know, like that. And we go through everything it means to be a human being in a very generic way. So, you know, I might talk about love or source or, or the universe and whatever word you use, you will put that in and you will just put, draw the material out as Angel said and made it her own. Um, so there's no, there's no one particular, there's no religion here. There's no, it's just a, it, these are just principles of life that we're talking about. And then they can put into whatever is important to you. And we go through, um, we go through these under, you know, like under these umbrellas that we're calling the elements of life, right? So you might know the, that there's four elements in Chinese medicine, there's five elements. So, you know, we'll go through fire and we'll talk about things that are important to that particular element, which also correspond to, to uh, organs in the body, which in this case, in the case of fire, it's the heart and the part of the intestines. And then we go through earth. This is all of our digestive center. This is like our solar plexus. If you're into the energy centers, um, this is, this is a really key and, you know, that we, we, you will know exactly what your nutritional plan is that is most serving for you um, by the, you know, actually, well, I'm going to tell you about something really fun first. Let me just get myself in the right place here. Yeah, there's so much I could say on all this and I'm, I know I'm way over time. So I'm just going to take us through this. We, you know, we, we, you learn how to release on your own because it's one thing to like go to an energy healer or go to, you know, a, a, a class or something and learn, but you need to know what to do in the moment when someone just like spoke really rudely to you, or you have a judgment that you can't shut down in your mind or, you know, there's, it's everywhere. It's constant. Like this stuff is nipping at our heels and you, you will learn how to actually bring those things to rest inside of you, especially the ones that keep coming back around and coming back around. And we all know, you know, the, the, I, I hear it all the time. Women will say, damn it. I thought, pardon my French, <laughs> I thought I already dealt with that. And here it is again, you know, so this is what I'm talking about. Bringing it to rest means it doesn't have to come back around again. So, and then we have our kidney. This is our kidney, adrenal and bladder system. This is where our stress response is, you know, gets activated from. And we, we need to bring this, you know, our nervous system, our autonomic nervous system, our sympathetic, parasympathetic, our fight, fleet, freeze and, and um, flight, freeze and Flight, fight or flight freeze mode, we have to bring that into calm center. Because if we live in, you know, in our sympathetic, in our fight or flight branch, we're, we're basically um, burning our energy up, right? And then it's not available to you. So you will learn how to do that. It's, it's just so good. And then we have our, this is wood. This is the extra element in Chinese medicine. It's the liver and the gallbladder. The liver takes a big brunt in the, you know, Western bodies. Um, the liver in Chinese medicine is responsible for filtering everything that comes through us, food, drink, emotions, air, you know, everything we take in has to be filtered through our liver. So it's got kind of a big job and the poor, you know, the poor system, it, you know, it's like a sweatshop basically. So we, we give it some love and we learn how to manage that energy center because it's, um, it, it matters to all the other energy centers. I mean, that could, you know, could be true. And I already told you about two more cool things, which is the resource library and the mind medicine vault. And so I want to just tell you that it is not $11,000. It's only $34.97. That's significantly much less than the value of it. And if you, uh, if that kind of is a big, too big of a chunk for you, then you're welcome to split the, um, the cost into three payments of, um, well, it would be 
I, I didn't, I don't have this in here. It would be a thousand dollars down and then three payments of a thousand dollars. So this is in the um, info page that I will give you in, uh, information to in just a second. And then there's two more things I want to tell you about because they're so, 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 so good. And then we're almost done here, except for I'm going to get you, uh, you the guided imagery for activating your cellular health. Um, and that's just like the tip of the iceberg, right? So that breakthrough session that I spoke about is so powerful. It's worth the price of admission. People pay, you know, $10,000 for therapy to get, um, you know, maybe a portion of what you will get in this breakthrough session, or people pay EMDR therapists or, you know, any other number, you know, CBT, any other number of therapy type things. Um, and, and we'll spend thousands of dollars going through like a course of treatment or a course of, you know, release, well, they don't call them releases, but that you will get in one session. So that's, you know, that, I know I say have said it already, but it is worth the price of admission. Plus, and this is so juicy, I'm so excited for this. You will get a half day. Let me just get the dates on this. You will get a half day live virtual retreat. And this is where we're going to plan your individual restoration uh, path, right? You will, you will get your nutrition in order. You will get your mindset in order. You will get the places that you sabotage yourself. You will have, you know, counterpoints to those. Um, and you will, you will be starting your 16 weeks in exactly the way you need to be starting it. And we're going to be doing that on July 8th. So you'll have a little bit, you'll have a couple of weeks to actually, um, you know, get into the program and start that first leg of the program. You know, notice where you, you have are tripping um, and, and then that you already know that you've been tripping for years, but then new ways that you trip, and then you'll bring all of that to the retreat day and we will just unpack it all. And we will make sure that you are a hundred percent clear about how you're moving yourself forward as you walk yourself into wholeness and not keep yourself on the, in the direction of, you know, your poor health. Right. So it's so good. Plus I'm going to send you a sacred health journal. You can have the option of, of a, um, what do you call it? A, a virtual, you know, like an online one or that you can fill out online or a real like flesh and blood. I think I have one right here. Yeah, here it is. It's a spiral journal, you know, so it opens up and lays flat. You know, you, this is what, these are the ways in which we keep ourselves on track, right? Is that we, you know, we have these tools that we use to, to sort of like not slip back into the old ways. So, um, and this is what you will literally be doing. You will be with ease and grace, turning your pain into power, your sadness into strength, and your wounds into wisdom. I, yeah, I just love that so much. So you, I already told you about these bonuses. Um, I think, let me just see what else I have here. I have to, uh, yeah, I, I already said that's the real bonus. So yeah, so I told you we, um, yeah, we were starting on June 17th that you will be able to get these amazing bonus. I don't know why I have the slide twice, sorry. Okay, and then, so here's the, I guess here's the thing, the important thing to ask yourself um, is if you've reached your tipping point of pain or health problems, or does your current health path seem okay? If your current health path seems okay, well then, you know, maybe think about doing this next year or, you know, or maybe you just, you don't do the accelerated personalized version of it. Um, I'll tell you more about that in an email. Um, but if you know that you've come to the end of the road that you know to how to bring yourself, you know, like you've brought yourself as far as you can, um, then you want to really jump into the program. And your heart knows, your head might be like churning about all the reasons why you shouldn't do it. But your heart, you know, if she knows for sure this is for you, then I really, really would encourage you to not give your head, you know, like don't give in only to your head. Make sure your heart is involved in the decision also. And then the fifth key is that you must, and I've said this multiple times, but I'm sorry, I have to repeat myself on this. You have to make a very clear decision to upgrade your health. It requires a decision. A decision must be made, a stake in the ground. Yes, this is important to me. Yes, I'm going to walk this path. You know, yes, I'm going to, you know, give myself this because it's really important that you, 
um, you do give yourself this. So here's what I'm going to have you do. Um, I'm going to ask you to email me. I want to, I want to be able to send you the guided imagery. And so since you've stayed this long, the way for you to get the guided imagery is to email me. I should have thought this through, um, but email me at AccuLaurieMorse, A-C-U-L-A-U-R-I-E-M-O-R-S-E. It's up here in that Zoom box. Um, no space between Laurie Morse at gmail.com and just say, watch the masterclass. Please send me my guided imagery and then I will send it to you. I think it's like, I don't know, five minutes or so. It's, um, it's something that you can download. You can put it on your phone. You know, you can regularly keep yourself um, you know, on track, so to speak, with with believing that this is possible for you. It's not going to give you the net, the you know the the path, or it's not going to give you the um, you know the the guide or the um, you know the the tools, but it will help you believe that this is possible for you. Okay, I think that's all we have. So, um, what you will have in, uh, at this at this link is an information page, pretty much you know all the stuff we've talked about. But click yourself over there and you know, get, get all the scoop. Cause I wasn't able to tell you everything. And I really invite you to say yes to your sacred health journey and to accelerate, accelerate the reverse of decline and reclaim your energy, your body, and your health. And, um, you know, click on the link. Let me know at the bottom of that page, I do have my email again, and I invite you to, you know, email me with any questions, or if you need to have a quick chat or anything like that, please feel free. Um, I want to make sure this feels like a, you know, a right fit for you. Um, I know that if you've come this far, you're pretty close, it, it, you know, you're pretty close to it being a very right fit, unless you have a, you know, just a quick question or something like that, that you need answers to. So go click on over there. And I look very, very forward to seeing you on the sacred health path.